Make.com just announced the new native integrations to all the OpenAI new features that got announced at DevDay. So we can see we've got DALI 3 generate an image. We've got uh, whisper translation. We've got text to data, text to speech, upload a file, which is can be used for these assistants, which is really interesting, as well as vision being able to upload a, a file um, or an image and actually have ChatGPT analyze and provide information from that. So we're going to test out the text to speech, pretty interesting tool. And to be honest, I'm kind of confused about what the use cases will be. So if you've got any ideas about what these use cases will be, please let me know because I'm still trying to figure it out, but it's interesting nonetheless. So let's give it a go. We've got a Slack channel here that's going to trigger this automation. And we're just going to drop in some text here that we want created into text to speech. So I quickly asked ChatGP to actually create a couple sentences to test this out. So we're going to go, the quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. And we're going to drop that into a channel called random. And what's going to happen is this is going to go through open AI text to speech then going to populate that file back in Slack and upload it to Google Drive. So in Slack, we've got TTX, TTS text to speech output. And let's have a listen to the text. The quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog, she said softly, emphasizing each word with clear diction. And that's pretty good. Uh, we've also got it in uh, Google Drive where we can listen to it. The quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. She said softly, emphasizing each word with clear diction. So how do you set it up? Well, as always, you need to have a trigger. So we've got the Slack watching a public channel. Then we've got this generate an audio. So we've inputted the text from the Slack. We're using text to speech one. And if you are setting this up, click on the show advanced settings. And this is where you can actually choose between the six different voices. So you got different voices. I haven't listened to all of them yet. And then you can choose how it gets outputted in an MP3 file. And then we are uploading a file both into Slack and to Google Drive. And it simply maps that file directly from the OpenAI module. So it's actually incredibly easy. It just took honestly a few minutes to set up this automation. Um, as I said, though, Still trying to figure out exactly what I would use it for. So if you've got any ideas, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, we'll continue tomorrow exploring some of the new features that have made their way into Mike.